Good day class. Today I am going to show you how the Newman Systems model is used in everyday medicine by showing you a case study of little Joe Doe. Let's dive right into it. Hello Eric. Hi Sally, hope you enjoyed your lunch. Who is our next patient? We have a child in bed 23 who was stung by a bee and had an allergic reaction. He's received epinephrine and his vitals are stable. Okay. So remember, we are using the Newman Systems model process format. What are the three components of the model? Determining nursing diagnoses, setting nursing goals and examining nursing outcomes. Yes. And what are the five variables we assess in Newman Systems model? That would be physiological, psychological, sociocultural, developmental, and spiritual. Exactly. Okay, let's go assess the patient, and then you give me an assessment of each variable. Then we will determine nursing diagnoses, set nursing goals, and examine the nursing outcomes. Hi, I'm Sally, your registered nurse. This is Eric, a student nurse. Is it okay if Eric and I examine you today? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Thank God we did not have to wait long. He has been very anxious and I am worried about him. Can you tell me what happened so far today? Little Joe Doe tells Sally and Eric how he was stunned by a bee earlier today and was brought in by his father to be seen. His father explains that it is the first time he has been stunned and it is accompanied by rashes, increased heart rate and shortness of breath. Upon arrival he was given a shock. They do not remember what it was but we know it was epinephrine. I am sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Professor Anian. Nice to meet you. I was the voice you heard at the beginning of this video as well. I will be guiding you through the rest of this case study as we follow along with Sally and Eric. How is your day going? Oh wow, that is great. Mine has been pretty good too. You know what they say right? If you choose a career you love, you will never work a day in your life. Anyways, let's dive back into our case study of little Joe Doe. Upon further examination and discussion, we learn from Joe that this is his first bee sting. He is afraid now because there are lots of bees at his new school and at church. He says he never wants to be stung again. We learn from the father that he did not know what to do. He had not seen anything like this before. Joe is his first and only child and had never experienced any other medical problems. Now let's check in again with Eric and Sally to see how they are applying the Newman Systems model to little Joe. So, what is your assessment of the five variables? The five variables for Joe are, physiological, he experienced acute respiratory distress, rashes, and increased heart rate. Has no other medical issues. In terms of psychological, Joe is distressed, wants to know more about how to treat allergic reactions to be stings. Sociocultural, Joe lives with both of his parents, and he is an only child. Developmental, Joe participates in age-appropriate activities, is in fourth grade at a new school. In terms of spiritual, Joe attends Catholic Mass weekly. Eric is spot on so far. And what is your assessment of the relevant stressors, including interpersonal, interpersonal, and extrapersonal? The stressors are, intrapersonal, narrowed bronchioles resulting from bee sting. Interpersonal, knowledge deficit of child and family regarding allergic reactions. Extrapersonal, acquiring new allergy, attending new school. So what are our nursing goals? The nursing goals are. Let's stop right there. Eric is doing okay so far, but this next part didn't sound so great. And that is okay. Eric is just a nursing student just like you. The nursing goals should be set collaboratively with the family. So together with Joe and his dad, the nursing team came up with these four goals. 1. Feel better right now, and then go home today able to breathe easily and with no medical danger from the allergic reaction. 2. Primary prevention teach about ways to avoid these things. 3. Secondary prevention 
teach child and family about early recognition and prompt treatment of anaphylactic shock following a bee sting. And lastly, tertiary prevention notification of school nurse, as well as carrying an EpiPen at school. The last component after setting our nursing goals is examining nursing outcomes. Let's check in again with Sally and Eric to see how we are doing with the nursing outcomes. So we set nursing goals with Dad and Joe. Now, the last component after setting our nursing goals is examining nursing outcomes. How are we doing with the nursing outcomes? For each of the four goals, I think we have achieved successful outcomes. Joe feels well. He is a bit tired, and his vital signs are good. He has discharge orders already. Joe and his dad verbalized several ways they can avoid bee stings. Joe and his dad have verbalized that they understand how to detect signs of anaphylactic shock have knowledge of use of the AP pen. They have written information to share with his mom as well. And what about our fourth goal, tertiary prevention? Joe's dad has the letter to the school nurse in hand describing the new allergy, and he has communicated with his wife who will bring it to the nurse herself tomorrow morning when she drops Joe off at school. The provider ordered the AP pen so Joe's parents can pick it up at the pharmacy tonight. And see, Sally and Eric have done a great job at implementing Newman's systems theory into practice. Looks like little Joe is going to be alright as he moves closer to reconstitution or a return to a state of equilibrium or well-being. Remember that this was a rather simple case study of the use of Newman's model. In other cases there can be countless variables and stresses which means that the nursing goals and outcomes can be much more complex. Thanks for following along with me today class, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. The case study was adapted from Chapter 15 of the Newman Systems Model 5th Edition by Betty Newman and Jacqueline Fawcett.